Welcome to a catechist. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over some electrophysiology of the heart. So as you may know, the heart is not only a pump that ejects blood, but that pump is run by electricity. So think of it in terms of your refrigerator. Your refrigerator has a motor, a pump, a compressor that cools air and moves it around the refrigerator to keep your food cold or frozen in the case of that electrical bundle of tissue, the SA node, then runs by electrical cable fibers throughout the heart into the middle part of the heart, which is known as the endocardial cushion. And that area is called the atrioventricular node. It straddles the atria, the top part of the heart, and the ventricles, the bottom part of the heart. So that's its name, the AV node. The AV node has fibers running from it that you can see here in white that run down the center of the heart, down the ventricular septum, the septum that separates the left and the right side of the heart. And then these fibers trace up and around the outside. And if you get a really close look at our heart, you can see the individual fibers that look like branches of a fern. Step over here for a second, close to our monitor, you can see we have a patient with a heart rate of 80, a saturation of 98%, they're breathing 29 times per minute, and they're a little hypertensive at 150 over 120. But what's important to look at is this EKG, this electrocardiogram, gives us an upward deflection here, a very sharp needle-like deflection here, and a third upward deflection here, and then it beats over and over again. What's important to know about this EKG is that it's normal. Notice that the rate and the rhythm are very standard, very evenly spaced in concert with what the heart is trying to do. There's no irregularity of this beat. It's regular. The QRS complex, this upward thin needle-like projection, is the depolarization, the contraction of the ventricles as blood is ejected from the pulmonic valve and the aortic valve. And then this T wave is the repolarization of that ventricle as the muscle resets itself. The heart cells, electrical cells reset so that we can do this again. We can beat again and again and again.